I was behind, oh gosh, almost 40,000 projects at Express Writers, the agency that I sold. And there were definitely a lot of things I learned along the way, how to hire a really good writer, because that is what we sold content and it had to be good, right? So there were things that took me nine plus years to learn that I'll share with you today. Hi, I'm Julie McCoy. I run the Content Hacker where I help creative entrepreneurs build the strategies, skills, and systems they need to sustainably grow online. Um, it was a recent pivot. I sold my agency in the fall of 2021. So now I teach full time. I've written six books. You can find those on Amazon. So today I wanna to talk about how to hire your content writer. And I would say tip number one is to put yourself on a platform that has a ton of reach. So whenever you are looking to hire a writer, you know, don't just, let's say, use a Facebook group, ask a friend. While that's good, and that's good advice that's shared a lot, right, you might hear, if you put yourself on a platform with a lot of reach and you actually have a dedicated job post for a writer, you'll get tons of candidates and then you can actually pick a really good writer. And then tip number two, how do you pick the writer, right? Once you have hundreds, let's say, of candidates. Um, then how to narrow down to that perfect writer, ditch the phone interview, ditch the Zoom interview. That really doesn't do much because anyone can say anything, right, in that interview setting. So instead, if you're hiring a writer, what I like to say is put emphasis on their skill set of actual writing. So how do you do that? Give them a prompt, give them something from your editorial calendar. What would you write about? You know, if it's like 15 steps to groom your labradoodle, if that's what you sell, that's what you do. Give them that topic and ask them to write up to 100 words for you. See what they do. You're going to go through all your candidates that you don't want and you're going to find the perfect writer. And then tip number three is, oh, we saw this in the agency all the time. You know, clients would blame problems on the writer. Well, the content wasn't what I wanted it to be. It's the writer's fault. Well, the content didn't include keywords. It's the writer's fault. So before you hire that writer that you've picked, before you give them any paid task, make sure your guidelines are crystal clear. You need a keyword if you're going after SEO, you need a topic idea, and you need, yes, some meat for that topic to send their way so that they know exactly what it is you want them to write on. Writers, they aren't brain readers, as magical as they can be. So just remember that when you're hiring your writer, make sure that you give them really clear directions and all of that upfront before they start writing. And then it'll be a lot more seamless. You'll have less revisions. It'll come out perfect. So to learn more about what I do and to get a lot more tips just like this, you know, I'm very practical with what I teach. You can read my books and read my blog, which is all found at contenthacker.com. And I do have dedicated blog posts on topics about how to hire. I also have trainings that you can check out. Again, I'm Julia McCoy with Content Hacker. Thanks for watching.